Welcome to the open beta of our Kiosk library. Now it's time to make your local resources more accessible. Kiosk is essential for 3D artists because it streamlines resource management. Kiosk saves time and boosts productivity. Here is a guide on how to get started. After downloading the zip file, extract it to any location on your disk and dive into the Kiosk folder. You will find a Kiosk Excel, double click it to open Kiosk or if you like, add a shortcut to your desktop. Now it's time to add your first content. On the top right, you will find the default categories. In the commercial version, those are customizable. Simply go to the content manager where you can add and remove categories like you're used to opening or closing a new tab in your browser. Right click the tab to edit them. To manage the categories content, you can add sources into the table. Sources are simply locations on your disk where you store certain materials. Use the filter option to define the files Kiosk should add from that directory. Currently, Kiosk has a direct integration to Maya, Houdini and Blender. To manage plugins in Kiosk, go to the App menu and select Plugin Manager. In the Manage Plugins, go to the Software tab you want to integrate Kiosk for. Press the Install button and choose the version to install. If the plugin is already installed, the checkbox is already checked. Just deselect it to remove the integration. For Blender users, in Blender go to Preferences add-on and activate the Kiosk for Blender add-on. Now restart Blender. Have you wondered what those category commands are? Here you can select a bunch of functions that are executed with the file you exported inside the software. Hold each command to get the tooltip and see what each of those are. Are you using the commercial version? Now you can also add your own Python commands. Now you are good to go. Start your 3D software and open Kiosk from the inside. Press the export button to send your resources to your scene. Even if the 3D software of your choice isn't supported yet, you might find a few cool features like drag and drop the item or the advanced context menu and shortcut system. Use the advanced filtering options to navigate seamlessly through your files. Please make sure you test the free version first, since the library is still in active development. If you want to support the project or have any feedback or input, do not hesitate to reach out and join the Discord server.